of uh, the main parts of the project is also going to Round Island, which is off the north coast of Mauritius. Um, and when we're there, the main jobs we do is actually searching for the seabird chicks. Um, so we go around the island and we look for red and white tailed tropic birds and we measure and weigh them. Um, and we can map out where their nests are and then we can select um, chicks which are really healthy for translocation. So those are the birds that we can then bring back to Ilus Regret. Um, so we take them either with the Coast Guard boats or on the helicopter um, from the police. Um, and then we bring them back to Ilus Regret and that's when we start hand rearing them. Um, and from then our job is mainly just feeding the birds every day and managing the birds, checking that they're healthy. Um, checking that we've got enough food for the seabirds so we go and see local fishermen and buy our fish and get squid and octopus for them and then we're also trying to manage the habitat on Ilus Regret to make it more attractive to nesting seabirds so when the birds um, reach breeding age which is about four or five years old hopefully they'll come back nest prospecting so they'll come maybe fly over Ilus Regret and look for somewhere to nest because they might remember that they fledged from here so we want to make a really attractive island for them so in some cases that's making clearing some little areas of vegetation for them and we want to put out decoy birds which are Nadia might have told you about them um, and also playing callbacks so uh, playing loud vocalizations of their breeding calls and sounds of chicks being fed to attract birds to the island. We haven't had a lot of success so far because we've had some difficulties with the equipment um, and at the moment we're waiting for some of the decoys to be made but there have been a lot of um, seabirds of the same species that we've translocated that have been flying over the island so yesterday morning I saw like 22 common noddies flying over Elizabeth and those are birds that possibly could have fledged from here after trans being translocated here and um, we often see red and white tailed tropic birds flying over the island um, and we hear sooty terns at night flying over and there have been shearwaters heard on the island uh, but we don't know of any that have nested here yet. At the moment we've just seen them flying over, um, so they possibly might be nest prospecting, but the idea is that eventually when they reach breeding age they'll fly over and they'll view the island as an attractive place to nest and there'll be some cues that they possibly can pick up from when they fledged from this island. Um, so the idea is that yeah, they would come back to nest. Part of the purpose of the project is to restore the entire island ecosystem because seabirds do play a large part in that. Um, because by uh, bringing in nutrients from the sea in their droppings, that improves the soil, which improves the ver invertebrate diversity on the island, which benefits the passerines and the reptiles. Um, but also, a l one of the reasons that we're doing the project is that the techniques we can learn in seabird translocation and hand rearing can be applied to other projects around the world which is really important because seabirds are currently the most threatened group of birds that there is in the world um, so there are probably going to be more and more translocation projects and seabird conservation is really important at the moment because of their threatened status so what we learn here in Mauritius can be applied and shared around the world with other seabird projects. Thank you.